Problem 23, we have some simple data on a span. Uh, we have the average tree size, the QMB, and we have how many trees per acre we have. And the question is, should we thin this span? So these problems are always gonna follow a very similar process. We're gonna need to calculate SDI, and then we're gonna need to compare that to maximum, maximum SDI to calculate relative density. So let's start by calculating SDI. We have the QMD equation right here, but we don't need it. We've already been given QMD. Um, so we can just plug in trees per acre here, QMD here, and calculate SDI at this stand currently. So SDI, and remember SDI, or standards density index, is the number of 10 inch trees you could fit on an acre of land. And so trees per acre is 300 times QMD is nine. Uh, let's see here, let me raise that to 1.605 power. Okay, let's talk order of operations. In your calculator, divide nine by 10, get 0.9. Take 0.9, raise it to 1.605, get that number. Once you have that number, then multiply by 300, and uh, that'll give you the correct answer here, which is going to be 253.3 10-inch tree spray. So that's our current SDI of our stand. Now we need to use that to look at relative density. So here's step two. We know relative density equals the SDI current, which we have, divided by the max SDI for that species. And remember, you have to memorize really three SDIs this semester in this class. We need to know that for lava light pine, max SDI is 450 10 inch trees per acre. For our other three southern yellow pines, that's slash, short leaf, and long leaf pines, it's 400 10 inch trees per acre. And we're going to use 230 for hardwoods, so 230 10 inch hardwood trees per acre. So now, because I have that memorized for lava light, I can do this equation. 253.3 divided by the max, which is 450. Plug that into the calculator, and I get 56.3%. So this is my correct relative density for this stand. This is the number that I need to make a decision on fit. We have to have one more thing memorized here. We need to have some relative density thresholds memorized. So remember, 15% relative density equals crown enclosure in a natural state. It may come later in a plantation. 30 to 45% relative density. That's our management zone for Southern Yellow Pines. That's ideal biologically. We may see that sometimes operationally, that would be ideal biologically. And finally, one of the most important numbers when you look at the range of about 55 to 58%, somewhere in there is gonna be the onset of self thinning. That's where density dependent mortality will be occurring. So once we see this, what we know from this relative density, 56.3%, we expect that stand to start self thinning. Trees are gonna be dying by out competing their neighboring trees. And so we want to capture that mortality. We don't want a lot of mortality in our stand. We'd rather put it on a log truck and send it to the mill. So should this stand be thin? Yes. We should thin this stand uh, in order to prevent density-dependent mortality. So step one, calculate SDI. Step two, calculate relative density based on knowing the max SDI for your species. Step three, know what these thresholds are and correctly interpret your relative density. So that's how you're gonna work all of these problems. We have a number of other problems here that are all similar in nature, but it's those same basic three steps for all. So pretty, pretty interesting. You have some basic information on a stand, average tree size, trees per acre, and we're able to use that to decide, hey, do you think we need to thin this or not? So it's a pretty powerful tool.